So let's take a look at uh, what seats we rocking up here. Saddleman. <laughs> Saddleman. 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 Need I say more? What's going on, riders? Today we're here at the movie theaters, but there's no movie going on. <laughs> we're actually going to take a look at the Saddleman San Diego custom seat with backrest that's here on Zach's bike. So let's see what this seat is all about. I'll give you all my impressions on it. Then we'll take it for a quick spin and let you know what I think. <laughs> Okay, so this seat is made by Saddleman. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of the Saddleman seat. It has the diamond stitching with a carbon fiber type of inlay on it. And the biggest thing about this seat, as you know, Saddleman makes a ton of step up seats, which everybody's using the step up. Stunt riders, just anybody who wants a really comfortable seat with that lower lumbar support. So when you lay on that throttle, you're not flying off your seat they're rolling with a Saddleman or a Lucky Dave. I myself prefer the Saddleman. So the big difference or the main thing about this seat is this right here, this backrest that you get for the seat, which is completely removable in, in, in some kind of shape or manner. Okay, so <laughs> I, had to, I had to pull on it a little bit. I'm not the strongest guy in the world. So it has different detents that you can set it to as far as levels. You can bring it up to here. So. You can have it sitting up higher and then you can adjust it and you can adjust it as far as how you want it to fit versus how high or how low you want it. It also is completely removable as you can see and it comes with a little stylish velcro as you can see there that you can use to completely cover up the hole when you're not using the seat. So you're getting two looks out of this seat and you're getting the functionality of actually having additional lumbar support for your back with this rest. Now, as you all know, I actually rock a Saddleman myself. I have the step up on my Sportster. And as you can see, I mean, they make step ups for every bike. This here is a road glide and the step up looks really good. The, the big thing about step up seats is the fact that they got that gel in core in here where when you first start riding them, it sucks. You're gonna think it's a bad seat and that it's not comfortable because it's so firm. After about 50 to 70 miles, this thing will form to you and it's gonna be the best seat you've ever owned. As y'all all know, I'm all about the ride. So enough talking about the seat. I mean, you see it, there it is. You see how it looks. It looks amazing. So uh, let's see how it feels. All right, so I got everything set up the way I like my ride to be. Zach is actually rocking a tack form mount as well. I swear those are some of the best mounts. I know a lot of people believe in the quad lock, but let's say you let somebody else go ride your bike. They can't use your mount unless they got that quad lock on the back. The tack form, anybody can use it. You just slip it right in. And that's the only mount I believe in. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Listen to that big V twin power. So let's see if this seat is gonna hold me in place while we go rip it a little bit. Now there's a lot of people who, including myself previously, who get afraid of a big bike. They like, oh, it's just, it's just too much bike. But if you can ride one bike, you can ride any. The only time you're gonna feel the weight on these boys is when you had a dead stop. But I think I'm about to ride the shit out of this. Maybe. Just depends. So one thing I'm noticing is the back support on this one is definitely a little bit higher than my Saddleman. And I feel more locked in and secure. It kind of feels more firm, the back support, than mine on my Sportster. The one on my Sportster, it'll lock me in, but I can still push myself back a little bit if I want. And you can feel that, that lower lumbar support flex a little on this one ain't no flex no flex so hey. hey. and the big thing about a seat is you want it to hold you in in the corners as well as when you're going straight you want that seat to lock you in place you know and it should make you feel secure and like you got complete control of the bike we're gonna hit this corner right here and we're gonna 
we're gonna ride it a little bit I'm gonna hang back just a little so I can throw the gas and uh, see if it locked me in place oh shit oh yeah it definitely locked me I'm not moving and the gripper material is holding me secure right where it needs to be right where I need to be I would crank up the tunes but you know listening to the radio we're gonna get some copyright infringement but this thing the, the stereo on here sounds really good and this exhaust pipe is ridiculous he got a two in the one pipe which definitely increases the, the the power coming out of this i would fly around old boy in front of me but i don't want to be that type of guy so it feels like he's definitely broke the cd in a little bit because it's not as stiff as mine was it actually feels good already because zach rides a lot so he's probably put some miles on this thing all right let's hit the cone oh i gotta get used to his clutch his is a little different than mine oh yeah you can definitely feel the power of the bike and i feel completely secure in the seat like i'm not sliding at all the last time i test rode this bike when i hit the gas if you would hit it hard enough you would feel yourself slip back a little bit like i'm secure in this seat i ain't going nowhere i feel like if you have <laughs> if you got a roll glide or a street glide or something one of the big big boys you need to get you one of these saddleman seats because this joker changes the game and yeah his bike will do the uh <laughs> the flex too as i call it when you know you, you can pop it a little bit all right let's see how it holds me in in this corner yeah yeah definitely secure it holds you tight of course this i don't ride this bike on a regular so i ain't want to take the corner too ridiculous i don't know where the scrape point is and i don't want to be scraping nothing on somebody else's bike you know this ain't my bike so even though i know he scrapes his exhaust pipe frequently all right let's take another little road down here let's take another road down here I'm actually liking this seat. This seat feels good. I could definitely ride this bike a lot further than I could ride my Sportster. Oh! Woo! This thing definitely lock you in place. So, yeah. Should you get this seat? I feel like you should get any saddleman seat, but for the road glides and street glides, because of the size of the bike, I feel like that lower backrest definitely helps. And it's extremely comfortable. And I haven't even tried the different levels of it, of raising it up, but it just gives you those extra options. You can use it without or use it with. And the fact that it has the gripper material, I mean, win-win situation. Gives you way, <laughs> I don't lean too far on this side. He got that pipe to stick out. <laughs> this seat alone is making me wanna borrow <laughs> or use a road glide for an extended period of time to take a couple road trips. Cause this is way more comfortable than my sports trip. I never said my Sportster is the most comfortable bike on the planet. Now, the seat that I got on there definitely helped out with the comfort, but when you own one of the bigger baggers, it's just a totally different level of comfort, if you know what I mean. But let me get his bike back to him before I keep it all day. Oh, and I forgot. That's another thing that's helping with the comfort of the ride. He put some, um, dang, I'll put it down in the lower, portion of the screen he got some different shocks on here too i forgot which shocks he got what the name on me is but that's helping with the comfort too i feel like the seat actually lifted you up a little bit more too from the last time i rode it i feel like i'm sitting higher like i'm sitting more right in line with the tank 
which is a good thing for a taller person definitely you get more leg room man that exhaust note is ridiculous <laughs> okay so yeah this bike done put a smile on my face today too <laughs> when you switch it that um man that sound good so again as i always say an important factor when it comes to wanting to ride your motorcycle or getting out there and riding is comfort and i feel like if you throw a saddleman seat on your bike you're gonna be extremely comfortable and you're gonna be more likely to ride it more i think that's part of the reason that i mean i loved my sportster beforehand i liked it a lot but since i put that saddleman seat on there it's, it's a totally different ball game and with this seat that's on this bike it's definitely a totally different ball game it's a total it's a different feeling than even my saddleman i feel like this saddleman seat feels better than my saddleman and it could be because it's a larger seat because it's a larger bike but it's extremely comfortable i mean this thing feels good so another thing y'all might want to think about too is you know i've done reviews and i got a couple reviews coming up down the line um on road glides for new riders this the way i'm riding today definitely ain't considered for a new rider but if you were considering the road guide the road glide <laughs> you know what i mean if you're considering getting a road glide i mean look at how much fun i'm having on this thing and there's just a few things he's done to his that completely changes the ride of it it has the t-bars i think these are lucky days they look like lucky days but it got t-bars it has a two-in-one exhaust he got some different type of shocks on here and it has now the saddleman seat that completely changed everything for the bike the whole ride and i know this video is getting a little long it's kind of extended but i mean i'm out having fun on the bike so why not let y'all experience this excitement with me right right don't you agree all right let's take this corner i can't lean too far because i don't know his where that pipe sit now i could take this one because that's a different turn it's a different angle oh yeah so the road glide could definitely hit some corners with no problem you know it just depends on what you want to do with it <laughs> now going to the right i don't hit it like that i ain't about to scrape up his pipe and have sparks flying but if you enjoy seeing me do videos like this where i just get out and ride or if you're in the charlotte area and you want me to do a test ride or review of your your bike i'm all about it i'll ride it and let you know what i think about it but yeah i'm headed back in to drop his bike off to him at the dealership he's actually working today i'll put zach's um instagram page down in the comments below if y'all want to follow him or if you're actually looking for a new bike you know you can hit him up he's at independence harley davidson but yeah if you haven't done so already you'll want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so that way you can be notified when I put out videos like these or any others. But it's your boy Infinite Rider signing out. And yeah, I'll, um, I'll see y'all in the next one.